Hello, welcome. Ordinary differential equation, not uh, sorry, ordinary differential equation for further maths. Um, it requires a substitution, which of course it will be given. Um, I'm going to write this. This is actually written down, as you can see, on the left hand side. And the substitution, which is given, is x z to the half. And is asking us to find a general solution of the above differential equation. Um, normally, these kind of questions, I think, is in further maths, uh, further further maths. Um, I remember myself as a student, they're, they're a real pain, all it takes a little mistake here or there and uh, things don't quite work. But once all, all this is all about is transforming these derivatives, the second and the first derivative. So we have a substitution in here. So I'm going to collect all my results uh, somewhere here. My pen just decided to die on me as well. <laughs> all right, let's get a different pen. Hopefully it'll be okay. So. Where do we start? We start with the substitution that we have been given. <coughs> All right. We need a dy by dx. How are we going to get dy by dx? We need to differentiate this with respect to y. And then flip it. dx by dy is a half z to the minus a half dz by dy, which is 1 over 2z to the a half. Uh, and then dz by dy. I'm just taking care to write it properly. And then I'm going to flip it. So dy by dx, flipping that is going to be 2z to the half dy by dz. <coughs> and I do apologize about my cough. It might be a good idea as well to actually rewrite this, depending on how we need it within the workings, dy by dz is 1 over 2 uh, z to the half dy by dx. All I've done is I divided that across, so I've made this the subject. Okay, so far so good. Where do we go from there? We have now transformed the, the dy by dx. We have an expression for dy by dx here yeah, to go in there. Of course, the x there and there can go in there. So we need now the second derivative. <coughs> We're going to take our dy by dx, which of course is this line here. I'm writing it again. 2z to the half dy by dz. And now we differentiate it once more with respect to x. And k focus will have a product in there. Half times 2 is gone. z to the minus a half. z is a function of um, x, so it needs a dz by dx times a dy by dz. <laughs> product plus, now leave this bit alone, so 2z to the half. And differentiate dy by dz with respect to x. This will increase the order of the derivative by 1. So we're going to go second derivative. And by the same rule, the um, independent variable, um, as far as y is concerned now, becomes dependent for the x. So is times dz by dx. All right. Um, it's a mess, really. So what can we do in there? Um, first of all, I'm tempted to factorize <coughs> dz by dx, which I actually see in there. Do I have an expression for dz by dx? No, I have, but it's not difficult to get from there. Okay, so that has been factorized out. And then I have 1 over z to the half that has been factorized. dy by dz, dy by dz is, of course, uh, dy by dz, that's this bit here. Let's check that this has gone out, that I flipped it already at the bottom. And then we got plus 2z to the half and a second derivative that has been factorized. Okay, what can we do in there? First of all, um, dz by dx. Well, I'm going to write it here. x is z to the half. This is very easy. 
the expat is uh, that only upside down of course <coughs> is uh, a half z to the minus a half which of course is one over two z to the half so my dz by dx i'm flipping it is two z to the half okay so let's write this as well somewhere on the side here just in case we need it or there's a mistake i want to be very organized with this just this bit here okay let's make some space and uh, we're still tidying this up now so that's going to be equal dz by dx is 2 z to the half 1 over z to the half dy by dz plus blah 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 careful we don't accidentally write a, a, an x for a z and then it's all curtains okay equal uh, 2 this will do will cancel dy by dz plus 4 z second derivative of y with respect to z so we've got another bit going in there and that bit that's going is that of course is the second derivative of y with respect to x which is turning out to be 2 dy by dz the objective is to lose all the x's basically plus 4z second derivative of y with respect to z okay and i think unless we need more stuff from um transformations i think we can just start transforming the differential equation i didn't move my tablet do apologize let me just uh, readjust this to make sure we are in the right place okay so here we go and now we're returning to the ordinary differential equation to the ODE which is up here and we got expressions for everything there and there and hopefully things will cancel and we'll be okay so first of all x x is z to the half second derivative of y with respect to x 2 dy by dz plus 4z and uh, what do we have in there? 4z second of y with respect to z. Okay. Minus dy by dx. Where is the dy by dx? The dy by dx is 2z to the half from this bit here, dy by dx, dy by dz. And I spotted these two things will cancel, which is good news. If you can see this item and this item, it will cancel in the differential equation. Minus uh, x cubed, which is z to the 3 over 2, with a y plus z to the 5 over 2 is equal to 0. Um, well, uh, you should re uh, you let me please. I mean, I don't want to write another line. This the dy by dz, dy by dz, two lots of z to the half minus two lots of z to the half. This will cancel. So, all I've got is this multiplication here. So, 4z to the 3 over 2, second derivative of y with respect to z minus, and this is good news because you can see I can cancel a z to the 3 over 2. Hopefully, this will be good news in the grand scheme of things so we are dividing now by um, z to the 3 over 2 and this massively simplifies now the differential equation minus the y uh, is equal to minus the z the reason i wrote it um, like this is purely because of course this is a second order which will have auxiliary equation uh, for lambda squared minus one is equal to zero. Lambda squared is equal to a quarter. Lambda is plus or minus a half. And if we look at the particular integral, if we put there, because of course this is y as a function of z, 
if we put y is equal to z, if we differentiate it once is gone, differentiate it twice is gone. So in fact, y is equal to z balances. So the particular integral, you can do your normal workings, is in fact simply z by inspection. I mean, if we at this level now in, um, and how, how difficult is this question? Um, I think I have to have it here. So is, is it four, four and a half star? Um, four and a half stars. So at this level, we should be able to see it, but it doesn't really matter. If not, you can put the extra line there. So the general solution, then sol is, remember we are in y as a function of z. So y is equal to a e to the half z plus b e to the minus a half z plus of course z <coughs> and of course if you look at what z is z is equal to x squared from the substitution that was given and therefore as far as we're concerned the question has not finished is a e to the half x squared somebody annoying is at my door don't they know that i get angry at this time when i'm filming ringing Okay, so that's that bit there. And of course, Z is X squared. And of course, this is uh, the question. I hope you, you enjoyed it. I hope you follow what I've done. Uh, maybe I rushed it. Maybe kind of, um, uh, I might have been confusing and all of this, but I hope you kind of like in the grand scheme of things, it made sense. I'm signing out and I'll see you real soon.